Hi everybody, so I said I was going to do something in class the other day and then completely forgot about it in the game development class because I was excited about the game. But on some recent updates to Windows 11, y'all may have encountered this, when you go to the home, like the home screen in your file explorer, uh, some of the things in particular desktop and documents and then the pictures and videos, um, but they can, desktop and documents, one we use a lot it will actually be pointing at the OneDrive one instead of your local storage, which can cause a couple problems. For example, um, if you go to uh, PowerShell and just navigate into your Documents folder or your desktop, the place where we do most of our work, your terminals are going to go to the local one, not the OneDrive one. So um, causes a bit of a uh, bit of confusion for programmers there. It will automatically back up things and in mine since i regularly break computers in the classroom to show people how to fix them uh my onedrive once backed up a uh once backed up a broken version of the computer that if i connect to onedrive will continue will re-break my computer uh i need to get that get around to fixing that i suppose but uh to change as some people ask about changing that and um, I started trying to put in a text message and it ended up being a lot. So if you want to use the local one instead of the OneDrive one on those folders, have your home drive, uh, your home screen on the Explorer point to your local machine and instead of OneDrive, uh, you have to edit the registry. And that's what was turning into a mess in the uh, in a text message when I tried to send it out. So I was like, well, I'll do it in class. And then I forgot in class. So I thought I'd make a video. So to change those that or other settings about File Explorer, we have to go to the registry. So if you search for registry editor or regedit, um, anything that will pull it up on the fuzzy finder, search for that, give it permission, come in here, and then we have to dig through this to a certain folder and change a quick setting. And you might want to write this down. Uh, I have it written down in a text file um, that I just keep on my Google Drive so I can get back to it very easily. And um, I use multiple laptops instead of multiple monitors. So it's on my other computer, so I can't put it in the video. But it is one you'll probably want to write down. So you go into the H key current user. And after that, into software and then Microsoft. Software, then the Microsoft folder. And down near the bottom is the Windows folder. So Microsoft Windows, and we want the current version. And under that is the folder for the Explorer, the settings for File Explorer. And we want User Shell Folders, or all these other folders have the settings about File Explorer if you want to change some of the other ones. But way down here, can't quite see it there, is User Shell Folders. If we look in here, there's a lot of things, so um, I've already changed mine, but the one that is for your desktop folder will probably say something like, um, I can't remember what it says, but it's like OneDrive colon slash, something like that. It'll say OneDrive instead of C drive. So you want to change it to your C drive somewhere, or uh, a good one to use is percent user profile percent what that is is going to be a c drive slash users folder slash the user name and then the desktop folder you can type it all in explicitly but if you type percent user profile percent then slash desktop folder that will put the local desktop on your file explorer uh, same thing for documents because that's probably where we do most of our work um, Where's documents? Oh, documents is on this one. It doesn't. Mine has a strange name. I made other changes to it. But that's how you change that to use your local computer. So any of them that currently point at OneDrive, just have them point back at the local user profile, which is um, C, C Drive, Users folder, and then whatever user you're currently logged in as. Uh, just thought I would make that quick video because trying to put that in a text message tended to be a lot. And 
you might want to write down this address here uh, or copy and paste it if you followed along the video. Uh, that way you can do it in future versions of Windows when you get a new computer or something. All right, sorry I forgot that in class. Just thought I'd share the video, and I will uh, I'll see you all next week.